I'm up at the butt crack of dawn once again, chasing cars. Uh, I got about 11 and a half, 12 hour round trip to do today. That's what I gotta do to get these cars on, man. They ain't close. You ain't gonna find them in the city, in the suburbs, in your neighbor's yard. So, um, yeah, some other goodies there too. So I'm gonna see if I can work out a deal on something else also. Um, we just gotta figure out what we're gonna do on this car as far as price goes. If somebody doesn't really wanna sell, kind of open to the idea of selling it doesn't need money so um, it should be interesting I'm going to try to get him to come down I'm sure he's going to try to get me to come up on price and we'll see where we land yep let's do it again damn cell service. Uh. I always get asked, you know, hey Desi, how do you do it, man? How do you find these cars? How do you find these collections? How do you get people to show you stuff that's not for sale? Collections that are private? What's the secret, man? What's the secret? Tell me, what's the secret? You wanna know the secret? Here, come close. I'll tell you the secret. You gotta be willing to go here! Where there's nothing, no cell service, no sign of life to find these cars. That's a secret. If it was easy, everybody would do it. <laughs> so, so tell me the story of how you got the car and how, how many times you drove it and what happened with it. I've only drove it once in whatever, almost 20 years. Since 93, when you bought it? Yeah. So you just bought it and we drove you buy it? it home and that was it. You, you bought it out of what, Spokane? No, Kettle Falls. Kettle. Marcus, wow. Up above Kettle Falls so you, from Jack Spooler. And you bought it and then drove it home. And that was it. And you left the keys ignition was like, all right, good <laughs> enough. And it's parked in the carport and that was done? Yeah. And then 20 years rolled by and... <laughs> and then you come and see it. And I, <laughs> I don't know where the carburetor went in that time period but <laughs> at least they, at least they covered it yeah at least and plus it had the hood you know thank god yeah so nothing got down inside there and Dude, who, yeah who took the uh that the light bezel off that was off when i bought it it was all, oh it was all just like it was when i bought it oh gotcha yeah all the chrome was in the trunk i just bought it and drove it home and Parked it, yeah, like like a shoebox. Put it on a shelf, and yeah. said, "I went in the house and had a brew." <laughs> and, and you can kind of tell how long it was parked. Yeah, <laughs> it looks yeah. Like a dust bubble top. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's look at that. It was it was inside mm -hmm. instead of outside. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, yeah, perfect. <laughs> the oldest car is nice. Which one? Oh, his sixty one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I still got to do a video of his. Well, you'd have salt and pepper. You'd have white one. He'd have a black one. Oh, I, I'm gonna park mine next to him too. Yeah, that's a badass. <laughs> What's in this one? A two eight three or? I I don't know. Does it have an engine? Yeah. It's sitting like it does. It just don't have a carburetor. 
Hmm. I'm pretty shit, shit. I wouldn't even be surprised if it ain't a matching number car, you know? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I bet it won't take much to get it going. No. I mean, you drove it here. I drove it here, yeah, a long time ago. And it's been, that door just opened up so nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. I found your other phone out. Chit chat, yeah, get you a interior kit for this, 61. Mm -hmm. oh, badass, man. You know what this needs? Does uh, Phil have a bucket from here? Uh, I don't. Th I think he has bench. I'm not sure though. Oh, yeah. But he did like yeah, he has bench because he did a mix of uh. I'm probably gonna get it wrong. He's gonna kick me for not remembering. But he he did like uh I think 58 seat covers on 61 seats because he liked the pattern better. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm about to have him clarify that. But um, I have to do a video of his. But yeah, his his is gorgeous, man. Oh, you in his shit? And he showed me a picture. <laughs> I about fell over. And he drives it everywhere. So oh yeah, oh yeah. No show cars around here. It's on the jockey box. Oh, this right here? Below. Oh, this is the Impala emblem. Wow, that's badass. Script, yeah. Yeah. I'd if it was an SS, it'd have a, a bar, yeah. yeah. yeah it was, I wouldn't sell for an SS. I wonder what this is. There's a little note right here. It's my virtual love letter. Let me see. That was the guy that, that comes over from the coast and works on my cars for me. God, I don't, he didn't even pay me. I don't pay him nothing or nothing. He just comes over and... Really? Yeah. You at least feed him? Yeah. <laughs> Do you feed him? Hell, he brings me food. Wow. I want some jerky. Can you yeah, jerky right here? Badass fucking guy. I'm not shitting you. Yo, this is this is somebody's pay stub. Oh wow. Uh, Jack Spooler. Yeah. Yeah. That's who he bought it from. I bought this from. This it's still his name, Jack Spooler. It says it says June thirtieth, nineteen eighty two, right there. Or is that ni ninety two? Ninety two. So he gave you this car right after he clocked out of work. You see right there? 1992. So June 30th, 1992. I think it says 80. Oh, no. That says 92. Well, here, I got my, let me see the phone. That's a nine. No, 92. Then. Yeah. Jeez, that's sweet. a long time. That's still in his name, Jack. <laughs> so he clocked. I see him all the time. Wow. He lives, he lives in Kettle. Wow. Oh, there's keys in it. Nice. Cool. I was wondering about that. I was going, God, I don't know. remember if I know. See, I don't. I try not to take them out because every time I yeah. take them out, I lose them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah course. I think if a guy puts an interior kit and takes the little body work it needs and stuff and paint it, I think this son of a bitch would be. And it's got the split chrome. Put a different color in the. Yeah. Like red or blue oh. or something like I did on this. You know, I put blue on this one. The split chrome. Right. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. No. This is going to look crazy going down the street. Yeah, it is. <laughs> With all the dust you blowing don't see off. Him. I was surprised when old Phil, Phil showed me his. I went, holy shit. Yo, his, you don't see him. He's got to, you got to have him send you like pictures of the process. Like, oh, all the work he did on it. Oh, stuff. man, that thing, that thing was rough. Was he, and he brought it back. Wow. Yeah. The thing about this, the bumpers are perfect, you know. That's a yeah. nice bumper in the, in the front. They're all nice. And this the tail lights. This will clean up with a nice bath, man. Yeah. yeah. It's almost a shame to wash it, though. Yeah. And like I said, all the chrome for it's either inside it or here. Yeah, someone put a Harley Davidson cap on it. Did it? <laughs> Motorcycle cap. Let's see. Let's see. God, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Wow. Yeah, good friend of mine. Hmm. He had two of them. He had one real nice one, and it was white too. And he sold it to a guy up in Orient. I can't remember what I paid for this. It's been so long, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it wasn't too awfully much. Probably, I don't know, three grand maybe. Wow. Let me do my inflation calculator real quick so I can give you back your two, three grand. How's the front bumper? The front's nice too. Yeah, it is, ain't it? Yeah. And that grill? Yeah, that grill's nice. Where's the, uh... I just open it. I can't remember how Phil opened his. I think it's right. Yeah, I think it's up here. Yeah, here it is. Um, uh, stupid phones. Okay. Huh. Maybe it's... It seems like there's one here to me. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Let me hold your phone. I thought it's Oh, here we go. Got it. There we go. Wow. That's somebody's hot rod. At least they put the alcohol on it. Well, it's got that, what they call them, uh, ram horn. 
exhaust. Oh, it could be a 327. Yeah, but I, yeah, could be a 320. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Could be a 283, could be a 327. Yeah. But it's got the ram horn exhaust things on them. Them are original. Hmm. Be nice if it was original motor. Yeah, I mean, it's all there. I mean, yeah. That's wild. It looks like an old culvert. Yeah, Chevy. She that's, that's great. He got the Chevy Mickey Thompson, Thompson valve covers. I've never seen Chevy Mickey Thompson. Either. Wow. It says Chevy on it? Yeah, this one right here. Oh, yeah. Is that yeah. what this too? Yeah. Wow. Chevy Mickey Thompson. Yeah, I bet them are older in the hills. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably period correct. Yeah. This would be cool with the force, a bench four speed. Mm hmm. If I dropped like a 409 in it. Oh, yeah. Or a 348 even just. Yeah. There's a lot of room. Looks like you could drop whatever you wanted. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, you could have ordered one with it. Mm -hmm. The 409. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, the 348 first. You know what else I want? I want a 62 Bel Air bubble top. Yeah. My partner out in Spokane's got him. He wanted this car. But yeah. God, he was going to sell me a 57 Nomad for 20 grand. It was beautiful. Phil's I look, didn't buy it. Phil's looking for a 56. Nomad? Yeah. yeah. If you know anybody with a, a nice one, a good project. Yeah. He's looking for one. I think the truck is still open. Yeah, it is. Oh, all right. Yeah. Man, that breeze feels good. Yeah, it does. I think of them fires, though. It's probably just whipping them. Man, this, it is crazy how nice this trunk is. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Wow. Yeah, you get all the chrome on it. Yeah, I see. Got a little bit of bubbles off it and stuff. This sucker's going to be nice. I see a lot of the chrome. I just wonder if it was white originally. Boom, I think boom. it was. Because every place you look, it's white, you know? Yeah. Oh, my stupid phone. Yeah. <clears throat> Pretty it's, nice. It is solid. Wow. Look like somebody was trying to put it. Oh, no, this is for the spare tire. Yeah. Yeah. And then all the plastic things that go in those holes. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's got all the trim. Mm -hmm. This is matched to that. Those and two. Boom, right boom, now. boom. So it has everything. Phil was saying them are hard to find. <clears throat> yeah, he would know. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, good. It's locked. I want to be waving to people as I go down the road. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, well, let's see how we load this bad boy. It's coming. Too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, you ready? Oh, there we go. Okay, keep going. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure it is good. 
wheel's about to go. Okay. Buster, Peaches, get over here. Get over here. Go ahead and go in. Yeah, yeah. Is that wheel on yet? No. Oh, it's getting close. Hold on. Yeah. So here we had to add a couple pieces of wood to get the exhaust to clear the deck of the trailer and then we can get it on better. See, just come slow. It's coming. Keep going. How much? Keep going. It's like half an inch. Keep going. Oh, it's, it's gonna barely clear. Keep going. Wow. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay, keep going slow. There we go. What does the other side look like? It looks good. Okay. I think. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't want it to drop back down again. here in a second. So we gotta see it's putting it. Yeah, put it in gear see the stay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, coming out. Cool. Now I can uh, shorten this up. She's all loaded up. This will bring her back just a little tiny bit more. But the dirty bubble is out of its nest. Coming home to the coast. And Mike isn't shedding no tears. He's happy. Big smile. Big smile. Probably because he hit me with that inflation price. But... <laughs> In one day, that's a record for me ever in my life. Right, yeah. The, the first... 67 and a 61. The first step to letting...
to admitting you have a problem is it admitting yeah you know you're on step two now you're letting go yeah so i'm, pr I'm proud of you man <sighs> so i guess we'll bring it in just a little bit more and then we'll get up out of here how much more do you think probably about another foot i'm gonna uh probably straighten that front wheel though yeah but we're looking real good over here the fender came loose a little bit at the bottom on that side Yep, yeah, I'll just straighten it up and they'll pull it back just a little bit more. Okay. And then the, uh, the weight will be more centered. All right, go ahead and bring it in some more. Yeah, bring, bring it in. Yeah, because it's still pretty high up. A little more? Yeah. That's fine. Okay. That should be good. Weight's pretty centered there, so. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the dusty bubble. After 38 years sitting right here. At least you didn't leave it outside. Yeah. Like outside, outside. <laughs> then it would there'd probably be nothing left of the back of it. All right, so finally all loaded up. It took an hour or so. I am sweating like a, ah, and there's stuff trying to kill me. Ah. Um, yeah, so it's done, it's loaded up. Time to go pay the man. Look how dirty I am. <laughs> I look like the dusty bubble. So this is gonna be an interesting ride home. I don't think anybody's gonna notice this at all. It might be clean by the time we go home. It was raining on my side, so we'll see. But yeah, man, 51 Impala. Looks to be a 283 automatic. And we just saved it out of his grave. So, the Rally Sport Camaro's next. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man. Let's roll up out of here. I'm hungry. I'm sweaty. I stink. I smell like outside. And my allergies are acting up. So, we out. Oh, yeah, before we go, man, I'm crawling under this car when I was strapping it up and and the floors are gorgeous. The trunk is gorgeous. I mean, for a car that was out. So it was outside, but it was kind of inside because it was in that the whole time. So that saved it from actually rusting out. Got a little rust at the bottom and the fender there. Um, but all the floors are gorgeous. Trunk's beautiful. And um, you know, spending, what, 38 years? Not 38, 93, 28 years sitting out here could have been a lot worse if it was actually out here in the elements like these ones are but no it's really nice it'll clean up nice it might be clean when i get home and i'm just ready to go grab me a dead animal wrapped in a bun with extra cheese on it and some fizzy stuff for this ride home <laughs> oh the dog jumped in my truck you coming with me huh you rolling you coming with me buddy Let's go. You wanna go to my house? All right, let's roll, baby. over 
real quick and just take in the scene, man. You slow down long enough, you realize it's a beautiful life. Beautiful life, man. And it's even better for a car guy. But man, let's see where we at. Devil's Punch Bowl. Devil's Punch Bowl. Yeah, man, I just had to pull over real quick and just enjoy this. This is gorgeous. Oh, what a good day. Life is good!